guys welcome back to the channel as you saw on the thumbnail I've got something here that I don't know what's in it well, mr. Paul Olson sent this to me and he asked me if I'd open it on camera and I don't have a problem at all doing that if it's a one of those spring snakes that jumps out uh, we will all get a good laugh but I have no earthly idea what's in here um, but that's who sent it to me Paul Olson mr. mr. Olson lives down in Florida and uh, I'm going to get to it, but I'm not going to do it right now. This will be last. This is going to be cool. So, first of all, I want to recognize somebody that I do often. And that is David Carranza. David Carranza sends me a letter regularly, like all the time. I get them all the time. David, you are a faithful friend and supporter of my channel and I just want to say thank you so much um, for your observations that you make of the videos but you got to get caught up man he's like so far behind on my videos he's back in like last year still trying to catch up but anyway I'm just joking um, he asked me um, one of the last letters I haven't opened this one yet to read it but he's like I wonder if I need to just fast forward to the new videos and then maybe catch up later <laughs> or or continue to be so far behind whatever you want to do man it's okay with me it doesn't matter um but you're way behind but anyway david thank you for your support always sending me those those are very uh meaningful when i get those all right here's something else that i got in the mail mr ed wickham sent me this hasagawa mirror finish chrome I've never used this stuff, but it's a alternative to bare metal foil. He also sent me a mess load of little um, pins that he said he uses these for gear shifters. A lot of people will do that. They'll use them for gear shifters and things, but I've uh, got a bunch of them. I mean, I must have a hundred here. That's a lot of gear shifters. Thank you, Ed, for sending this. I can't wait to try this. Um, this stuff out this is not I don't believe the same one that Lucas C tried out it may be I'm not hundred percent sure but anyway can't wait to try this stuff see if it works any better than bare metal foil thanks Ed for sending that to me all right now Larry Parr has sent me things in the past cool guy thanks Larry for all you do but the other day I got these are two different times but I got these cool IMC stickers. You know I'm an IMC guy. That's so cool. Thank you for sending me these. I got a big one and a small one. Those will definitely go up. And he also sent this Mad Modeler RF. Um, I'm assuming that R stands for rat or something like that. Ha ha ha. So immediately when I said that, people stopped the video. They went to the comment section. They want to tell me who Rat Fink is. I have learned my lesson on who Rat Fink is, but anyway, I got this cool Mad Modeler Rat Fink sticker, and check this out. I don't know if I can get it all on camera, but he sent me a t-shirt. I mean, look at this. It's, it's a Rat Fink brand. So Rat Fink... Big, can you see it down here? Yeah. Big, or Ed, Big Daddy Roth, Rat Fink t shirt that I'm going to wear proudly. It's got this huge RF on the back. Larry, you don't know how much, man. That That's, that's cool. I learned my lesson on who Rat Fink was, and it was an honest mistake. It wasn't anything I did intentionally. By the way, I've got sinus problems. I need to cough right now. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, sinuses are killing me down here in South Georgia. That's why my my sound like I'm stopped up. I am. Anyway, Larry, thank you for that. I'll take a swig of water here. That feels better. I'll be wearing this probably to a to a model show, Larry. And uh, when I do, you'll see the video. All right, next, eBay. <clears throat> Got this on eBay, just uh, came in yesterday. I think it was yesterday. 
So I got the 33 <coughs> Cadillac Fleetwood V16 and I saw this kit and I'm like, dang, that's a 33 Chrysler. It doesn't have V16. It's got like a, it's either a straight eight or a straight six. But I thought, man, those would look good together on a shelf. They're both, uh, anyway, 33 Chrysler Imperial Phaeton. But a uh, cool kit. Got it for pretty decent money. And I think these, uh, I, I, I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, but it's, it's that brand right there. It comes from Italy. Boxed by testers. It's a cool car. Got those big giant white walls just like the Cadillac. But I thought if I build these, these, these would really look nice together on the shelf. So that's a new addition. I like testers kits. I don't know. I'm intrigued by testers kits. They box so they have boxed so many different things. Um, not counting the armor and the planes and the ships and everything else, but the just their auto stuff. It was so many different companies they use for Jimmy. Um, uh, all these other companies and uh, I just think they're in, uh, and the boxes look cool too. So they stack up nice. They're kind of thin. All right, another eBay find. I got this 57 Chevy Bel Air um, 125th scale by AMT with the Steelys on it. I thought that looked pretty cool. Um, got it for decent money. It's a 2001 edition. It's a complete kit. Not missing anything because the last 57 I bought from eBay uh, came with missing some parts. But one of you guys, I forget your name, sent me those missing parts and I'm so grateful for that. But I got another one to add to the collection of 57s. And here it is. 57 Chevy Bel Air. Alright. Now, I have a friend. His name is Tony Lancer. Tony lives up in Michigan. Tony apparently has a hookup with a hobby shop. And he'll send me, he'll send me pictures. He'll say, hey, are you interested in this? And I will say, do you really have to ask me that? Because it'll be stuff like this. I already mentioned I was an IMC guy. Um, IMC Ford Cougar 2. One of those cars they never made, right? Kind of a concept. I believe they knocked it off of a Corvette. But um, looks a little Corvette-ish to me. But Tony sent me a picture of this one. He said, hey, are you interested? I think all the parts are here. He did go through and do a parts inventory. I think it may be missing one spindle or something is what he said. Um, but I'm not sure. There has been some assembly done on the kit, but it's not painted or anything like that. There's a few parts uh, glued to the body. That's fine. The body is actually that color. I might do an unboxing on it. But the uh, I, I love these old IMC kits. I think they're so cool. They're also a small box, which stack up a lot easier. You can get a lot more IMC kits in a in a in a in a space than you can uh, AMT or other kits like that. I'm not sure of the date of this, but I know it's probably the late 60s, mid to late 60s. I didn't even look on uh, Scalemates to see, but I got this one from Tony. Um, uh, like I say, he, he Tony's great. I'll say how much you want, how much do they do they want for them, and then he'll throw me a price and the shipping cost, and then we make a deal and he ships them to me. But thank you, Mr. Lancer. Another one that came at the same time as the Cougar and the, this is the first one that I've got in this in this type of box the older edition of this is the IMC 48 Ford Coupe um, I've got a bunch of the convertibles and I've got several of the coupes but they're in the testers this is the first I think it is yeah this is the first IMC Coupe um, that I have which is super cool and uh, I appreciate him doing that. And this one, although most of the parts are off the trees, um, he went through, also did a parts inventory on this one, and, and it seems to all be there, which is really cool. And um, I love them. Just love them. Love that sound. All right. Two more here. Tony Lancer still. Same hobby shop, I guess. I don't know. But these were like... These hit my pocket a little harder, but but they were worth it to me. <laughs> you know, you know, I had to have another one of these. I think that only makes uh, about 15 that I got. Um, 48 Ford convertible IMC 1965 edition in original factory uh, plastic wrap. To all you scoffers that say they didn't come wrapped, you're wrong. They did come wrapped. The uh, um, IMC kits came sealed 
Um, yes, yes they did. Anyway, I know that just probably elevated the blood pressure of several people, but that's okay. It's my personal opinion, and I think I've got enough proof. But anyway, what am I talking about? 48 Ford convertible, built one of these kits. It's terrible to build, but it was so much fun, and it turned out so great. Um, again, I think it's a cool thing to go back in time by building a kit that a guy or a kid back in 1965 would have probably about halfway through taken and thrown against a, a wall and busted to smithereens but I was able to complete it and I think it's a great kit I, I know it's difficult poorly designed great kit and this is one that I did not have IMC Ford Mustang 2 another one of those concept cars that never that never uh, went anywhere as far as I know they didn't I mean, other than maybe concept or maybe drawn it on a picture it never really really went anywhere um, but yeah, got got this one too, and it is also factory sealed. Oh, here's something written on it. I didn't even realize that. Something, nine seventeen seventy two on the bottom of it. So it was somebody took a pencil and wrote on it. See, they had to tear the factory plastic wrap back to be able to wrap to write on it. But anyway, what's another thing is it says an industro motive kit your like the the um 48 ones do say industrial motive here corporation but like this one and the cougar as well both say an industrial motive kit and that's that's neat because industrial motive was imc industrial motive corporation right here that's that is IMC. So anyway, thanks to Tony for uh, hooking me up with these and shipping them to me. Now for the uh, for the surprise, I don't have any idea again what's in this. I do see some color through here, but I don't know if that's just packing paper or what. But I see some color. But Mr. Olson asked if I'd open this on camera, and here we go. So drum roll, please. All right. Down one side, down the other side, down the middle without cutting anything important. And let's see what's in this thing. Okay. Oh, yes. Look at here. Look at here. What's he say here? Don't you like to. This plus build, don't say. <laughs> Mr. Olson, thank you so much. Look at this, 1941 Ford Woody. I've actually built this kit before. It's a cool kit. Um, what's interesting about this kit is on my shelf is this exact kit. Same box art. It's one that my dad bought. Um, as I've mentioned before, my dad passed away in 2017. And uh, the, the kits that he had, he wanted me to have when he died. and. I got those and and I have I have built this kit I think different box art but the kit that's on my shelf right now is this exact one and um, yeah that's 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 neat thank you for for sending me this because now I don't have to even consider busting open the kit that my dad saved which is still in the uh, cellophane I can take this kit and build it and this is an outstanding kit to build it's a little fiddly um <coughs> excuse me a little fiddly when it comes to the interior the inner panels and stuff like that but it is an excellent kit and i might have to do this one again because on the one that i did originally uh yeah there it is over there i painted the chrome with um with chrome paint and i didn't bare metal foil it and i think it looks much better with foil so maybe I need to go and um, uh, and and foil one and do a different color. Maybe maybe hot rod it. I don't know. But um, Mr. Olson said thought you'd like this. Please build it. Don't save it. You know you're really getting to me there, Mr. Olson, when you're telling me to build it, don't save it, because you know I love to save these things. Um, they are as much fun to me to collect and to come in here and look at as they are for me to build but 
um, as your wish I will build this kit um, it's probably two or three or four back in line but but let's build it and uh, I appreciate you guys thank you so much for your thoughtfulness for your uh, for your kindness to send me things um, it does not go unnoticed it is not expected um, but it is appreciated um, every time I receive something from you guys it's exciting it's like Christmas and uh, thank you so much for all you guys do um, if you have not already subscribed to model car videos please go hit the subscription button I'm nearing 10,000 subscribers <coughs> excuse me once I get to 10,000 subscribers I'm gonna have some sort of giveaway it's gonna be great I don't know what it is yet I hadn't even thought that far ahead but it's going to be good and it's it's I want to give back to you guys because this is the only reason I'm here is because of you and if you hadn't have subscribed to me I would never be there if you hadn't watched my videos I you know I wouldn't have anything as far as a channel goes so thank you for that don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like this video check out the Facebook group model car videos Facebook group um, hobby nut models where you can get all the supplies you need to build a model kit as well as the kits great MCW paint supplies anything you need go check out hobbynutmodels.com the Teespring store or the spring store go grab yourself a t-shirt I don't have rat fink t-shirts because I don't own the licensing license licensing to that but I do have model car videos t-shirts and coffee mugs and stickers and things like that go grab yourself one of those help support the channel and you patreon members thank you so much for all you do um means a lot to me to have support from you guys but anyway um all those things are linked in the description below this video as well as my email if you want to email me some of you guys like to email me rather than comment in the videos and that's fine um uh it, the youtube comment section is a little restrictive as far as giving websites and things like that so if you want to email me do that feel free to Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, maybe next time I won't sound so stuffed up. I don't want to be this way. It's terrible. But uh, you guys take care, and we'll see you on the next one. Take care.